So this is Maggie, and she was diagnosed with lymphocytic choreomeningitis virus just last month in March of 2022. She was born in May of 2020, and it took us almost two years to, to find the diagnosis. We struggled with a lot of different doctor visits and tests. But we finally had a physician that was able to order the right test. And then lymphocytic choreomeningitis virus is a virus that um, attacks anybody. Unfortunately, it does the most damage to a pregnant woman. I was in my first trimester when I was uh, infected. Uh, due to that, she was born with severe brain damage. Although you look at her, she is just the happiest, very chatty little girl <laughs> with a beautiful smile. Yeah, you smile and you love. Yeah! <laughs> um, but she does have some uh, difficulties and struggles that we're working on. <laughs> um, what makes Maggie most happy is just this playing every single day, her sister and her dog. You play and you clap. I want to go play. So what challenges Maggie? She does have physical disabilities. We use a walker to help her walk currently. She also has her lovely braces on her little feet and ankles that provide stability. You can visually see that her vision is disrupted, so she has bifocals that are brand new and working perfectly. Hearing, her right ear is at a 50% hearing loss. Overall though, she is a happy girl that loves to play. Yeah, would you find a puzzle? <laughs> She has met her milestones recently by picking up and pinching, grasping, and just this week she decided to stand independently while wearing her braces. Yeah, so we're very happy about that. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Maggie! <laughs> She's unable to hold her own bottle or feed herself. She will be two in a few weeks. And unfortunately, we, we haven't gotten there yet, but we are gonna be working very hard to do so. Maggie's future looks bright. She is finally starting to show mobility and strength standing up on her own. I foresee her hopefully being able to communicate vocally soon. As you can see, she already uses hand gestures and yeah, but we're just not using words yet, which is totally fine because she tells us in her own way how she wants to communicate. Um, and then when did Maggie start at Easter Seals? We moved here in 2020 when Maggie was about five to six months old and we contacted Easter Seals as soon as we could.